After I read and made a video about Dragon Ball Aeon, which I'm gonna have a link in the description below, you guys can go ahead and check it out, the story about the Saiyan Tuffle War, I told myself, you know what, let me go back and read some of the next chapters of some of the Dragon Ball fan mangas I've already done videos on, that way I can kind of continue the story from there, but then I saw this. And you know what that means, I think I have a problem. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. The way this starts off is it gives us a rundown of what happened at the end of Dragon Ball GT. But then it cuts to Mr. Popo and Dende and they're discussing the nature of the Dragon Balls. And Dende's got this bad feeling because he's talking about how Back on Namek, he heard stories of when pirates came and they looted Namek and destroyed everything in their wake, then they would focus on restoring everything with the Dragon Balls they had on Namek, but they never heard anything about like Shadow Dragons or Namek being destroyed or anything like that. So it was like it's something unique to the Earth Dragon Balls and he never heard of anything like this. So it kind of starts off on his ominous tone and then we cut directly after Goku left at the end of GT. We see his family sort of mourning, but Vegeta is thinking about how he's gonna get stronger. He's literally the strongest dude left right now, and he wants to get stronger and get more powerful, but his number one training buddy, his best friend that he's been denying is his best friend for years, is gone now, and he's gonna have to focus on Trunks, Gohan, or Goten. So he asks Trunks, and Trunks has to take care of Capsicle Corporation. His mom actually told him that he had to, so that's not gonna happen. Then he asks Gohan, and Gohan it's like well I need to start the rebuilding process I'm kind of in the, the lead of that role and so he needs to go around and start fixing what the shadow dragons destroyed and I like that they have him in that role because Gohan would so be that type of character that would be fixing stuff similar to what Trunks did in future Trunks arc so I do like that aspect of it and Vegeta's like getting pissed off he's like why am I asking these peons they should be bowing down and trying to train with me as an honor and so this Vegeta is a little less humble than the one in Dragon Ball Super I would say he's a little more like the original Vegeta then he has Goten. Goten has nothing going on. I mean, he has a girlfriend, but he doesn't really have anything else going on. And Vegeta knows this, so he doesn't even give him the option. He's like, all right, come on, Goten. Meet me here at this certain time, and I'm going to go ahead and train you. And you're going to, in turn, help me get stronger. And Goten's like, fine. And I think this was Vegeta's greatest fear, I think is not having somebody that he can train with and that's why he had to go down to the bottom of the barrel which is Goten in GT because he's like the weakest character essentially when it comes to the Saiyans and so he ends up meeting Goten and Goten is like I just wanted to spend all summer with my girlfriend I didn't want to do any of this blah 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 and Vegeta's like you know what come on I'm gonna take you off world to a different planet that can hold our power because that's how strong the Super Saiyan 4 ability is going to be and we're gonna go there for an entire year and train like an actual year not like hyperbolic time of course Goten's kind of pissed off about this he's upset but he's not gonna say anything against Vegeta because he actually seems like he looks up to Vegeta and this he keeps calling him Mr. Vegeta he shows respect to Vegeta he's a, he is his elder and Goten was brought up on respect so I like that aspect of it and so they end off going to this planet and at the very end of this chapter we see Dende coming out and telling us the legend of how the Dragon Balls came to be and what happened was that this being came on planet Namek and told him because he is pure of heart he is going to give him a great gift and then gave him this ability to create Dragon Balls now he didn't know how to use it until he had some visions but once he had some visions he was able to create the first ever Dragon Balls and so there are so many chapters of Dragon Ball X Apocalypto and a lot of you guys already know what happens because you either seen other YouTube videos or you've read the manga yourself don't spoil it don't be dicks just let me go through it and go on my own pace after this I'm probably gonna start continuing going into second chapters of different Dragon Ball fan mangas I've already done just to kind of keep everything in line and I do want to make some playlists so that way you guys can get these ones a little bit easier and kind of follow the story along the way I'm following it along but anyway let me know in the comments section below what you guys think of Dragon Ball X Apocalypto make sure if you haven't already to watch the Saiyan Tough of War video that I made a little bit ago again I'm gonna leave a link in the description and as a top comment below this is going to be Blackscape signing off take care guys